Well, I happen to have uh, a been fortunate enough to get uh, a pair of HC1000 uh, Hi-Fi Man phones because I actually reviewed those for the absolute, uh, not the absolute sound, but the audiophile voice who I write for occasionally. And those are very revelatorily wonderful headphones. It just so happens that that, uh, that shortly after that those came around, uh, that Odyssey came up with a much better headphone called an LCD4. And that Odyssey headphone and the and the Hi-Fi Man one have similar sensitivities, meaning how loud they get for a volt of input. And they're less sensitive than some of the other good headphones, so they're harder to drive. They take more volts to, to make them get it to a level. And uh, at any rate, uh, I, I have both of those, and and they and they are just so revealing that. Uh, that's what I reference. That's what I use for for figuring out how these headphone amplifiers sound. And so, speaking of headphone amplifiers, uh, historically, uh, here we are going along with these prototypes, and and oh boy, this is sounding really good. We're getting that circuit worked out, and all of a sudden, oh, we want a headphone amplifier on that too. I says, oh really? <laughs> oh God. Well, so that turned out to be uh, quite a. Uh, a development process to get get the one that we that we, we we ended up with but it the basic circuit that I came up with though was based upon a very good headphone amplifier that that, that I have was the Pathos Orium which is an Italian one that's a very very good sounding one and it ends up by having that device has got a vacuum tube amplifier you know with a output buffer that's solid state and it happens to be MOSFETs, surprise, <clears throat> in-channel MOSFETs, surprise, no, those are the ones. <laughs> and so I, I made the, the headphone amplifier initially have a, a, a gain of one, figuring that the gain of the pre-amplifier stage ahead of it, you know, would be adequate to get sufficient volume. And it turned out that with some lower level signals, uh, um, file sources like uh, uh, Blue Coast's uh, uh, Mahler symphonies, they were on, on the low side and we wanted to get the sound of that up to enough volume with these lower sensitive headphones that, but that that's as loud as we want. We just almost made it, but it wasn't quite enough. So we needed more gain. So we ended up by using a, a, a good audio transformer uh, to get that extra 6 dB of gain. And in so doing, we ended up by using both output phases of the balanced output of the preamp into the transformer. And that's a good thing because both phases get involved in the process. And that got us the 6 dB gain. And the transformer is the same one that we use in the direct stream DAC. Very good sounding transformer. And the overall sound of that is, is right up there where we want it. It's different. Nobody else is doing it. And it certainly paid off. It really has.